Welcome to Language Arts Lesson 5, Adding Italics in Images. In this video, I will show you, obviously, how to add italics. And then specifically with adding images, I'm going to show you how to, first of all, find and add an image. But then secondly, how to add borders and rounded corners to make that image look nicer. So by the end of this video, your job will be to add at least one image to your story. So let's start with adding italics. Italics are actually used for internal dialogue. So uh, when a character is speaking to himself or herself, you can use quotes, but I think it's more often or more common that you actually use italics. And these are the tags that you'll use for italics, uh, the EM tags. So let's just take a look at my story at this point. And right now I've got um, a fairly decent story, but I'm noticing that Right here, 8 o'clock already is actually internal dialogue because it says you say this to yourself as you quickly shoot up in bed. So I'm going to go to my code uh, or go to my story and I'm going to just put the EM tags before and after the 8 o'clock already. Click out of that, refresh the page. And now I do have italics there. So I can go through the rest of my story and just add in italics wherever there's internal dialogue. Again, for internal dialogue. Uh, the next thing I wanted to show you is finding and adding an image. So that's pretty straightforward. I mean, when you find an image that you want, right click or two finger click on it and select copy image address. I want you to know this important point. Image tags will go in the body of the story. It's not actually going into the CSS. This is the tag that you're going to use. Image source equals whatever URL in parentheses. Don't forget that. And then this little property called alt equals. And uh, you're going to have an alternative name if the picture doesn't display. If someone's browser, for whatever reason, doesn't show your picture of, say, the Sears Tower, Instead, it will say Sears Tower so that your user knows what that image is supposed to be. Notice something about image tags. There are no closing tags for image tags, so you're not going to have a, a forward slash IMG following your image. It's actually all just going in here. You can actually also set the height and the width within the image source tag uh, using height equals whatever number and width equals whatever number, but notice that those are also in quotation marks. So here's an example right here. Image source, here's my picture, alt, which is school office, height equals 200, width equals 200. So let's just walk through this process. So I come over to school office, I like this picture, I do a two finger click, and I do copy image address. I'll go over to my story, find the place that it's most appropriate for, and I'll put it in here, image source equals parentheses. I'll put the URL, close the parentheses. I'll put my alt equals school office and close that parentheses, close that bracket. Now, let me just see how this looks uh, right now. Just want to test it there and see how that looks. Okay. That's decent. Um, what if I wanted to change the size on this? Just like I said, you're going to go in and uh, change uh, the height and width right within here. So I'll put height equals, let's do 400 and width equals 500. Okay, and I will test it from there just to see what happens there. And it looks like it's a, still the same size. Let me try uh, 600, 700. There we go. It's getting a little bit bigger, and now I can resize it to whatever way I want. Okay. Um, that's how you find and add an image. And the last part of this video is what do you do to make uh, borders and rounded corners around your images? And so borders and rounded corners actually just add a nice touch to your images. This will actually go in your CSS. So you're going to select uh, your image, all of your images uh, with your selector, and then you're going to choose the following properties, border radius, border dash radius, and then a certain number of pixels for that. 
and then border. Uh, and you'll notice there are three values here, uh, number of pixels, border style, and border color. So for example, here's what a, uh, a CSS selector with uh, the uh, properties and values filled in. Border radius 25 pix, border uh, th three pix solid yellow. So let me go ahead and try putting that in. Uh, let me first of all add the uh, border radius. So go over here into my CSS and I'll put image border radius and I'll just put 25 picks and see what that looks like. Don't forget your semicolon afterwards. I'll refresh the page. Oops. Since I'm on this one right here, I just want to start it from right there. And you notice that my corners on my pictures are now rounded and it, I personally think it adds a nice touch there. Okay, the next thing that I said to do is to add an actual border. So I'll do three pixels, solid yellow. And let me just add that into my um, CSS right here. Border, three pixels, solid yellow. And let's see what that causes uh, to have happen. Again, just running it from here. Okay, so I've got three pixels, a solid yellow border. Now, I encourage you to take a look at w3schools.com to see all of the different uh, um, values that you can add in for your borders. I mean, you could have rounded corners, just like we talked about. Um, you could have different types of borders uh, there. Um, in fact, you can have a lot of different types of border styles, um, dotted, dash, solid, double groove, and it shows you what those look like down here. So take a look at W3Schools, go into CSS, and then take a look at CSS borders, backgrounds, and even other things that you can do with images, uh, which are down here. That's all I wanted to show you in this video, and so now at this point, your job is to go into your um, story and add at least one image.